hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna be doing my first budget for the month of july now i am getting paid from the 28th of june and that's gonna go all the way through um july 11th so that is gonna be the first paycheck of july i am gonna be using erica vlogs stickers she did send these over to me and i'm also gonna be using this friction erasable pen so um in my last video someone mentioned that i put these backwards and i made sure that i put these on correctly this time so this is for you girl um so i went ahead and put in my paycheck number one i forgot to put in the dates but i'll go ahead and do that later off camera i'm gonna go ahead and put in these little headers and this is gonna be for my income um next time i know to put it down just a little bit more it's a little high up there but everything fit in perfectly these are just um chalk red uh, note papers from the happy planner and i just put these back in into my planner all right so let's begin so i'm going to be getting paid on the 28th and that's going to be a hundred and uh, sorry a thousand ninety six and twenty cents i'm also going to be getting paid on the second and the ninth and that's going to be sixty dollars each so let's go ahead and total that up i went ahead and grabbed my cute little ruler here i have this tan one and i have a black one that i've been using um and they're just adorable i got them super dirt cheap on ebay love 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 so the total for that is going to be one thousand two hundred and sixteen and twenty cents let's go ahead and move on to our expenses now i did make sure that this is on correctly as well <laughs> and i'm putting in that expense title right there so this is just going to be my bills that's what i use this for um I went ahead and grabbed my stencil and I, you guys know I love to check stuff off so I just made sure it was all aligned because I am a perfectionist of course and it would bug the crap out of me if it was crooked so let's see I have a PayPal for $49.90 don't even ask I I bought these really cute matching shirts for my daughter and I and I put it on my PayPal <laughs> I'm so fired I keep putting money on this card on to a better note freedom is getting paid off yay 345 and 75 cents is going to freedom and that should pay it off unless of course i do get interest charged for the next month then we're gonna have to pay that off as well mazda 250 and 37 cents my cell phone bill is due on the 9th so that's going to be 22 dollars and 26 cents as well as apple storage that's 99 cents so let me go ahead and add that in real quickly i get messed up that it's 99 cents and i always put dot zero 99 anybody else do that <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and calculate this and the total for that is 669 dollars and 27 cents i'm going to go ahead and move up to the top and again i was off frame sorry guys so i just fast forward all of this per usual this is going to be my cash envelope section I do have a miscellaneous and she did not have that in the kit so i went ahead and made my own i'll show you guys in a second i'm gonna go ahead and put in my little check boxes again and i have four envelopes so i have a giving and i accidentally went to the drive through in my bank instead of walking in so i pulled out 20 instead of 10 so i'm not gonna have to pull out money next paycheck for groceries is gonna be 100 dine out i did up this a bit because we were spending way too much and i'd rather just be on budget than over budget per usual i did 50 and then for household i usually pull out 20. so let's total this baby up and that's going to come out to a total of 190 dollars i'm so excited of how this is coming out my last paycheck for the overall uh july was fantabulous i did the bottom total remaining since she didn't have one and right here um that thick washi that she has that's the same thickness as the header at the top i just cut it down and i made my little miscellaneous one so there we go for gas it was 60 dollars um for my spending i am giving myself 25 dollars and that's gonna be for just whatever the kiddo wants um, saving I already saved the money so that was a total of fifty dollars and ten cents 
and a for debt that's going to be for um, my Disney and I already sent that over as well $101.83 then at the bottom I'm going to go ahead and put in that I want to leave a buffer of $20 in the bank um, then for 4th of July I am also allocating $30 just in case we do a barbecue or whatever um, I just want to make sure I have money if we do that my grandma's birthday is coming up and I'm allocating $50 and lastly I have a baptism and I'm going to use uh, 20 for that. So again, we're going to total that up. And that's going to be a total of $356.93. So then, like I said, I had to make my own header for that one. Um, so I could have, I should have probably put that in the expense one. Um, and then just start with my total remaining at the bottom. I do do a zero based budget. So I'm going to start off with my income. I'm going to deduct the expense portion. Then I'm going to deduct the cash envelopes as well as the miscellaneous category. And once I do that, it should equal out to a zero based budget. I'll show you guys in just a sec. So there it is, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's basically it. I just went ahead and put in that um, little dollar sticker and also the little piggy bank because it was cute and we got to use it, of course. So um, that's pretty much it, you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Bye, guys.